but I just want everybody to be focused. I get a lot of people calling me and say, which rootstock do we like? But for intensive peer production, you need basically drafting rootstocks. And I just go that through. What do we have in the, there's again, this, you need really um, precautions and you want really basically a rootstock what actually give early yields. Okay? This, this is our rootstock what we got, the D6, and it is a really D6, it is a beautiful name for a very vigorous rootstock. And in a high dense orchard, this is a rootstock what you don't want to plant. This, that's just one thing I want to say. It's just too vigorous, basically, and it's very hard to stop them. This, uh, and again, you can actually put an interstand between, and then would be probably good with Nazis to, but try to make them more drafting. That's one thing that's true. This is this, um, as, yeah, that's a big statement, but I think it's too vigorous for high dense orchards. Um, PV1, I wrote in South Africa, and we don't see that today, but actually, that's probably one in the trial book, looks actually pretty good, but we will talk about that today. But again, I want to skip through this once I know that we have a big presentation, but I just want to sum it up a little bit. This, um, we got this in Australia. Is it free and lots of available at the moment, BP1? Yeah, so um, it's an Anfit yeah. licensed uh, rootstock, so any of the Anfit nurseries, State of Bazani, Adelaide Nursery in Western Australia, yeah. it does the most production of it, yeah. um, but it is available in commercial. Yes, this is a, a definitely a better alternative for high dense blocks than the D6. This again, um, you see that comparable with pack ants. And uh, again, I said already, but the numbers limit, but probably is more numbers at the moment. We always struggle a little bit to get the fruits up, but anyway, for everybody who wants them, it seems to be easy. Okay? Again, this one is not so uh, known, but I just say that that's another one. What we have, um, again, it is uh, still very vigorous. So I'll skip that one as well. I'll skip this one. But that's also like uh, quite a, a fence. Uh, BB2000, um, again, I would say that's probably almost too vigorous still. Okay, just, I just sum it up a little bit. And I don't want it. Again, if you think about it, BB2000 in the beginning was promising, but I think he's still a little bit too vigorous to my liking. Okay, again, and this is probably where we talk about what we really want is uh, probably. People said about Queen C, and I had a question already when we came in, and they said they can't be growing in Australia, they are too drafty. This is actually nonsense, okay? They are very, very vigorous, and you can grow them quite easily in Australia. But this, the, the problem is that people plant them too far apart. There's not a tree what you can plant four by, by three or something. It should be high dense blocks. You plant them closer. This Queen C is actually quite vigorous, and Anton will say that as well. He's actually, as a young tree, he can grow, but he, when he starts to crop, he becomes really more drafting. And, but as a young tree, he can grow actually and fill in the canopy pretty well, actually. Uh, probably Prince Adams is probably my pick a little bit. I would say it's a little bit more vigorous, but still very, very uh, more precocious. And then you got uh, yeah, the Quince um, A. That's another one. Is that actually quite available now? Uh, yep. Queens, uh, so, Queens Adams so, as well? Yeah, uh, A and C, yeah. through through the Abfit licensees, have all got good numbers of, of that stock at the moment. BA29, some of the licensees are bulking that up. Yeah. So, some haven't. Um, but yeah, there's, there's, there's commercial quantities now, so you should be talking to, you, to the nurseries. If you go to abfit.com.au, there's a list there of the licensees. Talk to them about what Queens is available. It's all certified stock. Um, yeah. Yes, that's good news, guys. For when we talk about high dense blocks, we start have to start with rootstock, and that's why I started off with it. And again, that's probably all what I have to say about this. Um, again, that's probably what it is. And Quincy is definitely one of the um, least vigorous one at the moment. What we got is that's probably all what I want to say at the moment. And. Um, yeah, you've got a little bit of different with fluorine. Is that a little bit available? You talked about it before, Mark. Quinsaline? Yes. Yeah, so Quinsaline's now out of post entry quarantine and we're slowly bulking it up. So I've got two plants out of quarantine uh, the year before, yeah, last year. So we bulked that material up, we're going again. So we're 
trying to get it into into production as quick as we can. Yeah, but Eileen is in yeah. is in a good start. What and Anton can probably say much more about it. What is actually uh, cleaner? It is a, the peels are actually less rusty. That you find actually a much nicer skin finish, and that comes mainly from the rootstocks, what they claim at least. Uh, but Anton can fill you in about that uh, more. Um, this, that's, that's probably, like I said, that's probably all what I want to say, and then we start with the main presentation. Any questions about rootstock markets there as well? This, uh, um, but I thought we start off with the rootstock, but that's where high dense blocks always start with the choice of the best rootstock. And we did this, guys, with the apple in production. Uh, people say we could not grow M9, now we're growing M9. Quinn C, we could not grow it, now we got the Quinn C's in the orchards. You know, um, uh, in South Africa, we talked about it, I, I travel sometimes to South Africa, and it is still, they say, oh, we can't grow it, our soil is too bad, the climate is too hot. There's always an excuse not to plant, but in the end, you don't want to fight, and we see that this afternoon, of, of when we go to Matthew's block, look at the video on those, uh, um, these six rootstocks again today and have a good look of you could control that, you know. There's a really high dense blocks guys start with choosing the right rootstocks. That's number one. Okay? Thank you.